Today I'm going to show you guys what I picked up in the south of France. I don't know if I published the vlog yet. If I haven't, then whatever. I was too excited to show you guys. I really want to wear these items. It's been like a month now since I got back. I've been trying to put off wearing these items, unboxing these items, because I wanted this video to be a surprise. Although saying that, I did unbox one item. If you do follow me on TikTok, you would have seen the one special item I picked up in Monaco, which I am obsessed with. It's in a color I don't like. Don't love, rather. It is none other than my new Fendi Petite Peekaboo ICU. I feel like you're either a Fendi Peekaboo or a Fendi Baguette girl. Personally for me, I'm a Peekaboo girl. And when I saw Naomi Campbell wearing this bag on Instagram, I was sold. Anything Queen Naomi does, I'm here for. I am here for it. I am obsessed with Naomi Campbell and I'm obsessed with these bags. If you do not have the budget for an Hermes Kelly, and back in the day, I did not, these were my go-to. This style wasn't out yet, but the Peekaboo style in general is very similar to an Hermes Kelly. This is giving Celia Kelly and the other older styles are giving Retourne vibes. Let me show you guys the difference. So we have a Celia Fendi Peekaboo and we have a Retourne Fendi Peekaboo. As you guys can see, the styles are similar but different at the same time. This is definitely a more relaxed look. I'm so glad that they've introduced this one because honestly, as much as I love this and as practical and spacious as this bag is, this one is giving me so much more life. I am obsessed with the shape. Honestly, it is a very practical bag. It does fit quite a lot in it. And the only reason I didn't opt for a baguette, a new baguette, because I actually only have one baguette. Do I? One that I can think of off the top of my head. I don't like how it just sags. I end up putting too many things in the bag. The bag eventually sags. It doesn't look cute. I do want to get a smaller size, potentially the one I have is, I think it's in a medium size. Don't get me wrong, I love the baguettes, but I'm leaning more towards like evening-y kind of bags, which can be worn during the day as well as in the evening. This is in a beautiful stingray skin. I still have the plastic on. I didn't actually take off the plastic on TikTok. We can do that together, guys, because you know I love you more than my TikTok followers. There we go. I'm actually not going to do the other side. That was really tedious to take off. It's a very spacious bag. It does fit a phone. I mean, it just about fits a phone. This isn't great. With a little careful precision, we can fully fit a phone in there. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So the biggest one there is. I don't know if the 14 is bigger than this, but it's a pretty big phone. It's a, it's a big phone and it fits in here. I can fit sunglasses. I can fit so much in here. And honestly, I love it. I did wear it to a Fendi event recently. I got so many compliments on it. And honestly, the new designs they've released in this style are stunning. Not just this petite size. I do love the petite size, but the sizes bigger are also very, very stunning. Again, it's giving off Celia vibes, more like a structured, polished bag, as opposed to a more informal kind of bag. These also look great in the regular leather. You don't necessarily have to get an exotic skin. Not that Stingray is exotic, but they do have a beautiful selection of exotic skins at Fendi. And I've said this on my TikTok, I'm gonna say this here. Fendi exotics are not as extortionately priced as Hermes exotics. And I know people are like, oh, but the resale value, babe. The resale value of exotic bags, doesn't matter what it is, unless it's like some random Zagliani bag, it's gonna remain pretty high. I don't actually personally think about resale value when I buy bags these days. I'm not that person anymore that buys bags for investments. I buy bags because I like them and I want to pass them down onto potential future children. I definitely need to check these out. If you haven't already checked these out, I would highly recommend if you're looking for a nice everyday bag. Maybe don't opt for an exotic everyday bag, but the standard leathers that they offer, I do think they'd make great everyday bags. Either that one or this one make great everyday bags. Honestly, I think Fendi need to hit me up with a sponsorship because why have you not reached out yet? I'm obsessed with Fendi. I did actually buy some more pieces from Fendi. We got some ready to wear. The one thing I hate about designer clothes is that I go into the store very excited about new collections and nothing fits. Everything is too long or too loose and sometimes with pieces I can get them altered but a majority of the times the way that certain seams are placed or like pockets or like detailing is placed on an item makes it impossible to actually alter. I picked up these little shorts. I thought they'd be great for summer. They are in like this shell fabric. I really love them. They did have trousers, but the issue with the trousers were the way they just sat on me didn't look right. And I think the way that they were cut, it wouldn't be possible for me to get them altered and look the same. So I opted for the shorts instead. I love these because they've got like the baguette detailing on the pockets, as you guys can see. And like this little cargo effect, so cute. I really, really wanted the silk trousers like these and the silk mini skirts that came out 
as well as like, I think they're denim or twill mini skirts. The way the pockets were placed on the butt, it made it impossible for me to adjust it in any way and it just wasn't going to happen. So unfortunately that didn't happen. I also picked up something I'm really obsessed with these days is tank tops. If you've been here for a while, you'll know that I'm a tank top girl. I'm literally always in tank tops. I am a basic bitch. But I do love the cut of this and I love that it had a very subtle Fendi detailing. I mean, if Loewe can do it, then Fendi can do it. Before we jump into the other two bags, which are beautiful, by the way, I do want to talk to you about a brand I've been loving recently. And I'm sure you guys have noticed I've been wearing their pieces religiously. And that brand is Ideal. Ideal is a brand which focuses on lab-grown sustainable diamonds. And I am obsessed. I actually don't have that many piercings. I used to have two lobe piercings, but something happened and I now have stitches in my lobe which i will talk about eventually first let's just discuss how i've created a cutesy little ear without having to have multiple piercings i love piercings don't get me wrong i think piercings are beautiful but i'm incapable of cleaning them and taking care of them i end up just getting infected and the hole closes up i just go through all this pain and then the hole closes up and i'm like i'm not doing this again i'm going to show you the new pieces that i got okay so i was really excited as soon as i got back i ripped open this package from ideal if you watched my last video my birthday haul i actually showed you a few other pieces that i got so it comes with this card which basically tells you all about their diamonds as well as the goal that they use the craftsmanship they use a hundred percent solid gold which means you can shower with these pieces i think that's so important because personally for me taking off my van cleave pieces is a bane every time i go for a shower but it's a necessity because the stones shrink so in this ear i have the spark ear cuff i don't actually have a piercing in this hole anymore it fell out and 10 minutes later it was closed i waited an entire year for this piercing to be okay the second i changed it the hoop fell out and i was like I'm not doing this again. So instead of doing a piercing, I love that they have ear cuffs. This one is my favorite ear cuff. I'm not joking. I'm not taking off for the past week. And I love that it's got a chain attached to this earring, which just makes my life so much easier because it's not gonna fall off. Not that this does fall off, but when I'm sleeping, I don't feel any discomfort. It's attached to this one, which is the Romy. I love the Romy. It's like a semi hoop diamonds all the way down and it's attached with a single big stud on this ear i've got the lucia with a big stud i love that this is almost like a little creeping diamond situation i think it looks so stunning and it's just very elegant very minimal without being too in your face too overpowering i'm all about quirky little eclectic pieces the one thing i absolutely love about ideal is that you can actually mix and match pieces and everything is very modular so you can change pieces around every day you can add or remove certain pieces with my spark ear cuff i don't want to remove that but i can actually change this Romy too. So this is Ella. It's a dangly ear cuff. It can actually be doubled as a necklace as well. I do have a necklace which matches. I keep everything in this little wooden box which I got on Ideal as well. They, something I really love right now is this jewelry travel pouch. This keeps earrings, it keeps necklaces and it keeps so much more in there whilst being compact and not bulky. I got another piece which I haven't actually tried yet and these are the Onos. So Ideal uses lab-grown diamonds. These are sustainable diamonds. Lab-grown diamonds are honestly the exact same as natural diamonds. The only difference is, is that they are grown in a lab and they take less time to develop, whereas natural diamonds take forever. If I want to layer this, I've got my big stud here. It's very important to actually purchase the stud itself, the big main stud, because this, this holds everything together. Ooh, I could also do this. If I wanted a more subtle look, I could obviously do this one, which is jade, and the diamond just hangs beneath my lobe, but I want to do something a bit more extra. Let's do the Ono. So this is now what my ear looks like. So cute. I love an asymmetrical ear. I don't like matching earrings. I don't know why. I mean, you could always just leave it like this if you wanted to keep it simple. You don't need to add anything else. Alternatively, if you do want to keep it simple but keep it a little bit quirkier, we can add the jade. A very simple, elegant, daily ear stack. You guys know me, this is too simple for me, so we're gonna add something. I mean, this kind of works too. I actually really like that. It looks like I have several piercings when in actuality I only have one. Without being too basic, we have a fully curated ear. Now I really want more piercings than this ear. It's stressing me out. 
Oh my god, I really love this. Like, I'm actually obsessed with this. I feel like if I had too much on both ears, it would just be a lot for me to handle. And I just, it wouldn't be me. But there's so many cute little pieces you can just play around with and accessorize your ear with. Ooh. Okay, I think this might be it. Yes. I, I love this. I love how it looks. But I also really loved how this one looked. Oh, should I add the long one? Ooh, the stud with the Ono and then Ella. Is that too much? Wait, now I want that on this ear. No, 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 no. Let's do it on this one. I don't know what to do, but like each day I'll literally just change because these pieces are modular, which means that you can just add and remove, play around. They're reasonably priced. They're very reasonably priced for such beautiful diamonds. <gasps> yes, this is it. This is it. I do really love their power cuff as well. That is stunning. If I had that, I would put that on there. Like how have I created such a beautiful ear and I only have one lobe piercing? I wanna add more. I really wish I had more holes. I'm so annoyed. You guys can check them out down in the description box below. I will also leave a discount code. And if you follow them on Instagram, they often have various different sales and discounts so you can check out and make phenomenal gifts, particularly for Mother's Day or like birthdays, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Hanukkah, Eid, you name it. I am gonna be buying my friends these beautiful pieces. I love that you can just add on. It comes in this book kind of packaging. You also get a cute little card. It's just so lovely. Everything is very sustainable. Their packaging is sustainable. I haven't had any issues with these. No stones falling out. I'm looking at you, Chanel. I chose the yellow gold, but they do come in rose gold as well as white gold. Okay, next in my Fendi bag, I have another box or bag rather, which I was very excited about. It was not a planned purchase. I have three bags in this video, none of which were planned purchases. I usually like to plan out my purchases and I think I was just going a bit wild. This design actually stopped me in my tracks. I stopped and I walked straight into the Gucci store because I was like, that one, I need that one. And then she brought out a whole selection of similar styles and I was like, great, now I'm confused. But let's unbox this together. I hate long-winded unboxing, so we're just gonna get straight into it. I think this might be my first Gucci purchase ever. All my other Gucci bags have been my mother's. This one is mine. This is mine, all mine. I did really want an exotic, but they didn't have the sites, which is the passport for the bag available, and I didn't wanna wait a month, and I didn't know what customs were gonna do, so. Here we have my new Gucci mini Jackie bag in patent black leather, stunning. Now. She's not basic. Let me just show you guys why. Honestly, I wasn't obsessed with this bag. My dad actually bought this bag for my mother several years ago, the bigger version, the older style. But the chain, the chain is giving art deco, decadence. I'm here for it. It's the chain that sold me, I'll be honest. The chain really sold me. I think the one reason why I didn't want to buy this bag was I just kept seeing people wear it with like a really long shoulder strap as a crossbody and I was like, uh, that's, that's not cute. I, then I saw this one with the chain strap and I was like, yes. I do really like that. It can be worn in your hand. It can be worn in the crook of your arm. It can be worn on your shoulder. I don't believe this can be worn crossbody, but it serves a look. It really serves a little look. This is like an evening bag, but it's also a day bag. I love it. You can have the strap just hanging there. It does come in white. I did contemplate the white because I've been on the lookout for a white bag, but I loved the black and the gold and the crystals. Let's just appreciate these beautiful crystals. It's giving baguettes. And I like that it doesn't have Gucci. I mean, oh wait, it does on the chain. It's not like an obvious Gucci bag, but it's like, if you know it's a Gucci bag, you know it's a Gucci bag. It doesn't have the monogram all over it. Although saying that, I'm gonna contradict myself here. I don't love logos so much. Not because I'm into the whole quiet luxury thing, but I just, I find it a bit off-putting. I don't know, I have to be in the mood for it. And I feel like this is a bag which I don't necessarily have to be in a mood for. I have to be in the mood for logos. And I do really love the canvas versions. They are a lot cheaper than this one. Still a really cute, wait, I didn't even check if my phone fits in here. So silly of me. Okay, she fits. She fits, just about fits. It's a snug fit, but she fits in there. And there is room for other things. I don't think this is the most practical bag because it is open. There is no like zip closure. There's only this little stitch, but there is a small tiny pocket. What I like to do with bags that are open like this, I used to do this with my Saint Laurent Sac de Jour. I would put 
my items into a small little dust bag like this. Something ideally with a drawstring and I just shove it into the bag just to make sure that everything stays in the bag. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think this is a very iconic piece from the brand. I'm really loving Gucci right now. Wild for me to say that, but I'm honestly loving Gucci. Gucci are doing bits. They are doing bits. And if you see me wearing Gucci sneakers, mind your business. I go through moods. It's not as exciting as what I've got in this Bottega bag. I saw this bag on Instagram and I was like, oh my God, I need this bag. Initially, I did go in looking for the Candy Jody. They had one or two. I didn't like the colors, but more, I didn't like the size. It is very cute. It is so cute. It, but it was not practical enough for me to have. Like, I've never seen this anywhere, but I need to know, do you by any chance have this bag? The sales associate was like, um, that's such a strange request. Like no one's ever requested this bag, but I think we might. Two minutes later, she comes back and she pulls out. I hope this is not squashed. I'll be really sad. A Team Jody in towel. I know a lot of you are gonna hate this. It's giving Big Bird, but babe, this is the perfect beach bag. It's in towel and it's yellow. I hate yellow, but like, it just makes me so happy to look at this. Like, it doesn't sit on the shoulder. It's really impractical, but like, it'll sit in the crook of my arm. Like, so, I mean, it goes really nicely with my outfit today. It sits in the crook of my arm. It's big enough to fit so many things in. My phone obviously fits in here. What? I've not seen anyone carry this. I think you guys know by now, I love me a quirky Bottega bag. I like buying things no one else wants most of the time. I love that I can just throw this bag around and I'm not gonna be concerned about it. It is a nice big everyday bag. I have had my eye on the Teen Jody, but I was concerned that I'd just get things lost in it. But then I saw this one, I was like, this is just not basic. And that one is a bit basic. Not that it is basic, but like, it's just, ugh, it didn't give me fanny flutters. This one gave me fanny flutters. And I was like, they did come with matching heels as well as flats, but we're not doing the duck shoes. We are not doing the duck shoes. Let's do Chanel. Chanel, I picked up two things. One pair of shoes I already have, another pair which I do not have. I'm in my granny era sometimes. So these are just the plain black slingbacks. I have worn them already. I do actually own these, but I needed another pair. You can never have too many classic Chanel slingback flats. They are my most comfortable, my most elegant pair of shoes. That's a lie. Those are Laura Piana. These come strong second. Laura Piana is always top tier for me, but when I don't feel like wearing a loafer and looking too like, and I wanna be a bit girly, the Chanel flats are my go-to. Then, this is a bit of an outrageous purchase for me. You guys might be shocked, but I think they're more for my mother rather than for me. And they are the Chanel logo camellia design kitten heels. I love me a kitten heel and I think that these would look so cute with Chanel jeans and a plain black or white t-shirt or just like a cute little all black outfit. We did look at the flats but then we both realized that we are very much into these kitten heels. That was all from Cannes. The only thing I got from Monaco was the Fendi bag. Then we went to Saint-Tropez and I was like I'm not leaving Saint-Tropez without buying at least one thing. I did buy this set from Saint-Tropez. It was from some small random boutique. I know I hate when girls do that. I'm like oh it's just from like some little boutique in like the middle of nowhere. This literally was. I don't know where it was from. It was some random boutique in Saint-Tropez. Saint-Tropez boutiques are so cute. A majority them do all the same things but they're so overpriced. I went to the one store that I know best in Saint-Tropez and that was Laura Piana and I decided to buy myself a cashmere cap because I was feeling ugly that day. I didn't have any makeup on and I was like let me just go get a cap. I want to put a cap on and I opted for the cashmere even though we're getting into summer now. I just love a cashmere cap. I love the subtle logo. I don't like caps with like heavy logo detailing. Whenever I go somewhere new I always look for vintage boutiques and I love vintage shopping in France because Everyone knows French women are the chicest and the French vintage stores are always top tier. I could not leave a French vintage boutique without buying a little something from Chanel. This is a belt I've had my eye on for a very long time. It is a vintage Chanel belt in solid yellow gold. It's very similar to belts I currently own and I just love this one because it's got medallions on it. I love the Chanel medallions. They look so elegant and it's also adjustable. You don't have to wear it a certain way. The quality of these belts in comparison to the newer Chanel costume jewelry is so much better. This was a little bit pricey. It was over a thousand euros, which I know is a little bit much. It's a little bit steep. Back in the day, 
these would go for maybe like 500 euros on ebay like authentic ones from japan but now everyone knows japan is the place to be for vintage chanel so they've hiked up their prices a bit sad very much worth it because vintage chanel jewelry does not tarnish it doesn't stain it doesn't lose its color and it holds its value because it's solid gold it's heavy it's beautiful it's stunning it's vintage chanel it's karl lagerfeld need i say more that's it, it's Karl Lagerfeld, that is it. I also did pick up some other things from Chanel, but we're not gonna be featuring them in this vlog. You'll have to wait for the next video because I did actually buy some stuff for my trip, which I did not end up taking. I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys check out Ideal and get these stunning little pieces. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will try and link everything I bought down the description box below if I can find links to it. And I will see you guys in my next video.